Therefore, it appears that Cardi B's contentious divorce is becoming messier than ever, with new details emerging seemingly every moment. I can only assume that the Kardashians, who thrive on drama for their program, are envious of this controversy. But just when we thought the matter couldn't get much messier, Sawidi, Offset's former sidekick, intervened and charged Cardi with cheating on Offset. Do you recall when Cardi was accused of cheating by rapper Bia on Offset, and Bia said she had a dirty recording of Cardi? Well, Saweetie recently made a suggestion that Bia was correct and that Cardi's extramarital affair might have led to her and Offset's divorce. This is about to provide some spicy bruise of tea, so you best settle in. To be honest, it's not shocking that Saweetie is acting suspiciously toward Cardi B because, according to reports, Cardi attempted to stop Saweetie from getting his suitcase back in 2022. To be fair, Cardi didn't exactly show up for Saweetie without reason. For the reason that Saweetie supposedly had an affair with Cardi's husband, Offset is the reason why she attempted to blackball Saweetie. Who hasn't been with Offset by now though? However, the tea is here. We don't finish Offset's alleged meeting with Saweetie at the time that Cardi B and blogger Sleazy Mirage got into a furious argument. Sleazy Mirage went all dramatized, claiming that Saweetie was behind the scenes. Are you serious about talking about husbands? Naturally, people were quick to believe Sleazy Mirage as the internet went into a frenzy. Offset's history of betraying Cardi isn't exactly a secret after all. Thus, this delicious rumor wasn't all that surprising. Cardi, however, shot down the allegations stating, no baby, you lying. You're lying crazily, initiating things, and including FEMA rappers without proper documentation. Bloggers remained silent about this. However, Cardi didn't really address the matter head on. However, there are reports circulating that she has been actively working behind the scenes to get Sawidi blackballed. Cardi is an expert at handling the women Offset leans towards, as we all know. Recall what she did to Jade, the Offset side chick? Her sister also gave them a tough time. Additionally, that ended when she and Ruben Dahl got into a Twitter argument over some Offset drama. Sawidi, nevertheless, was not going to be spared Cardi's fury either. Cardi reportedly went into full combat mode, attempting to get Saweetie banned from Hollywood and harming her career. But with Cardi, things carried on as usual. Given that Saweetie is a celebrity, we assumed she would be the exception to the norm. To teach Saweetie not to mess with Herman though, Cardi reportedly pulled some strings because she was the one who brought it to her, according to insiders. Do you recall that incredible collaboration that Saweetie and rapper Glorilla were supposed to have? It was meant to be Saweetie's breakthrough. Saweetie was scheduled to appear with Lotto and JT from The City Girls on the remix of Warilla's popular song, FNF. All she needed to do was record her verse when she had written it and finish the music video. Up until it wasn't, everything was okay. Without any prior notice, Saweetie was abruptly removed from the track. However, because everything about the record seemed to be locked, it was a little puzzling. Furthermore, there didn't appear to be any animosity between her and Gorilla, and she was the only one dropped. Gorilla just disclosed that Cardi B was hopping on her tune tomorrow as well, just as we were beginning to scratch our heads over this enigma. And the math began to tally right away. The timing was too shady to pass up. Cardi came in for a feature just as Saweetie was about to get the axe. As soon as fans combined two and two, they got four. Additionally, a fan stated that Saweetie's removal from the FNF remix was due to her having an affair with Offset. And because Cardi was aware of this, she effectively blackballed her and refused to work with Gorilla until Saweetie's verse was removed. Now who's stopping the bags? Another fan added, that's why Cardi forced Gorilla to remove Saweetie from F and F and give Loyola a free feature in exchange. Our resident Shay Queen Saweetie, who lives next to Rihanna, couldn't help but give Cardi some sass. The fashion critics were out in full force when the gating image photographs of Cardi from the Vanity Fair Oscars party went viral. People were everywhere, accusing Cardi of being false and employing extreme photo editing because they didn't think she looked like her Instagram photos. Then, when Nicki Minaj tweeted, clock that's why, things grew worse. Furthermore, because she tweeted just as Cardi was being dragged, many believed that she was making fun of Cardi. Next, Nicki again disparaged Cardi, stating, Photoshop those bars. However, Saweetie then made the decision to stir things up and seriously disparaged Cardi. Well, forget about that. She hurled an entire forest towards Cardi. She shared these pictures of herself on Getty with the sardonic description, Chach, she doesn't need any edits. Have a mic drop moment. People clearly understood Saweetie's message, as evidenced by the comments they left, saying things like, 
It's crazy to F on someone's husband and clown them with your beauty. Hello, Barb. Really. And she truly does clear Cardi. I'm not as cruel as I could be, and I want people to be more appreciative of that. Cardi tweeted in response to the criticism. As such, there is undoubtedly a great deal of love lost between these two. It is also not surprising that Sawidi is now making fun of Cardi following her divorce and making suggestions that B was correct to accuse Cardi of adultery. Was Cardi really that unfaithful? To put things in perspective, B leveled the claims during a brief online spat between herself and Cardi. Cardi was accused by B of imitating and stealing her vibe. When did Cardi release her single, Exactly? She was accused of ripping off B's song, I'm That B. B a shaded Cardi, even if they both used a sample of Missy Elliott's song, She's a B. Subtweeted, I'm not really her. And then they mimicked it. She also made fun of Cardi after the latter released her song, Enough, and her fans noted how it finished like BIA's song, Fall Back. It's becoming strange, BIA tweeted. You can ask and you will be given. Cardi went live to confront the issue because she was sick of putting it off at this point. Let me tell you something, right? <laughs> you know, I always drop receipts, but I'm trying, but I feel like I'm at the point that I feel like I don't gotta be dropping receipts. I, I don't gotta keep, I don't gotta keep like proving myself or like trying to make a point. You know what I'm saying? Especially to these but y'all getting me this close to dropping receipts on my projects and everything. Cause y'all have y'all getting a lot of nerves. And on top of that, not only do not only that, but drop these conversations that I have with you. Cause honest truth, them <laughs> them conversations is embarrassing. You we gonna look fucking crazy if I drop these fucking conversations. Stop testing me. Stop trying me. You got my number. Stop doing internet. Cause once I start doing internet, it's not gonna be funny. You gonna be crazy. Oh my mama. Cause there's a side of me that be like, you know what? I can't take the bait. But then there's another side of me that be like, must think I'm. And I'm tired of that. Y'all gonna make me drop receipt. Y'all gonna. Belly air official, yeah, it, he is messy. I'm like, gonna make drop receipts and these conversations. And the conversations are embarrassing. Are embarrassing. Stop playing with me. I don't bother you. I don't sub you. I don't talk about you. I don't you bitches. Stop with me. Then B made the spiteful decision to make fun of Cardi for crying over Offset's infidelity. It was evident that Cardi was prepared to take things to the next level when B chose to bring up their marriage. Cardi was not having any of it. Tampering with her husband or their marriage is like prodding a bear. We so anticipated the ultimate clapback, which Cardi duly delivered. She completely ran B down when she jumped on the wannabe remix with Gorilla and Meg Thee Stallion. What a vicious comeback. Will Cardi truly get a divorce from Offset? Is this a publicity gimmick? Please share your opinions and comments below.